Hello everyone, I'm Typhoon and in this lecture let's dive into network hardware, the stuff that makes the magic happen. We will focus on three common devices, hubs, switches and routers. A hub is a basic networking device, usually a box with multiple RG45 ports. Hubs come in different sizes from small 4 port models to large 48 port versions used in corporate setups. Hubs are outdated. Hubs generate a lot of unnecessary network traffic because they can only work in half duplex mode, meaning they can either send or receive data at a time, not both. This inefficiency is why modern networks have mostly replaced hubs with switches. However, understanding how hubs work is still important for techniques like hubbing out, which we will cover later in this course. Hubs are simple devices that operate on the physical layer of the OSI model. Their job is to repeat data. When a packet arrives at one port, the hub repeats it to all other ports. It's up to the receiving devices to decide if the packet is meant for them. So imagine sending an email titled for marketing team to everyone in your company. The marketing folks open it because it's for them. Everyone else deletes it because it doesn't apply to them. This creates a lot of unnecessary noise. And that's essentially how hub functions. Unlike hubs, switches work in full duplex mode, meaning they can send and receive data at the same time. They are much more efficient and are now the go-to choice for modern and high density networks. Switches are similar to hubs in that they repeat packets, but they are much smarter about it. Instead of broadcasting data to every connected port, a switch sends data only to the device it's meant for. This makes switches far more efficient than hubs, even though they look very similar. Some larger switches, like used from Cisco, come with extra features and are called managed switches. These can be controlled through special software or web interfaces and allow you to enable or disable specific ports. We port specifics. Make configuration changes. Reboot remotely. Managed switches are especially useful for network management. Switches operate on the data link layer of the OSI model. They use MAC addresses to uniquely identify devices on the network. To manage traffic, switches maintain a CAM table, essentially a traffic cup for your network. Here's what happens when data is transmitted. The switch reads the layer 2 header in the packet. It checks its CAM table to figure out which port the destination device is connected to. The switch sends the packet directly to that port instead of spamming all ports. Unlike hubs, switches allow multiple conversations to happen at the same time. For example, if a computer A is sending data to computer B, only computer B receives it. Other devices connected to the switch won't even know the conversation is happening. This direct communication keeps the network fast and clutter-free. Routers are more advanced than hubs and switches, offering much greater functionality. They come in various shapes and sizes, but typically have a few LED indicator lights on the front and multiple network ports on the back. What do routers do? Routers work at layer 3 of the OSI model. Their main job is to forward packets between two or more networks. This process, called routing, uses layer 3 addresses, like IP addresses, to identify devices and guide traffic. Think of a router as the equivalent of navigating through a neighborhood. Imagine houses as computers and streets as network segments. If you want to visit a neighbor on the same street, you can walk straight to their house. Similarly, a switch handles communication between devices on the same network segment. 
but if your neighbor lives on a different street, you need to follow a route, turning onto one street and then another. This is what happens when data needs to cross network segments. Over time, as you explore more network diagrams, understanding how data flows through routers will become second nature. For example, in a routed network, computer A on a network A needs to send data to computer B on a network B. The data must travel through the router that connects these two networks. Routers are the traffic directors of the network world, ensuring data gets where it needs to go, efficiently and accurately.